Alright everyone, welcome back. So we continue on our 2024 trade deadline previews with the Tampa Bay Lightning. So being honest with you, this is a team that's not going to do a whole lot. Because they don't have cast space, they don't have a lot of assets to move as it is. They gave them up before in previous years. So honestly, I would not expect a lot out of the Tampa Bay Lightning this trade deadline. So, as of today though, they are 28-20-5 for 61 points. They are third overall in the Atlantic Division. So, they are in a good spot, and they're in a better spot than people thought they were going to actually be at this point in the season. Just because of, people said that, oh, they're falling off, oh, they're, they're regressing, they're not going to be that good. And, understandably so, um, definitely, I was a part of that too a little bit. However, this team is still legit, they proved that to us, even though Kucherov's done a lot of the heavy lifting. Anywho, um, definitely though, I don't expect a lot of action at this trade deadline. They currently have no cap space. No cap space. So um, they can make some LTIR moves to try and get some money from there. But besides that, there probably isn't going to be a whole lot of traction around the Tampa Lightning this trade deadline. So you look at their UFAs and RFAs. That's where the magic is at. Uh, you have Steven Stamkos, Tyler Mott, Alex Bear-Bolette, Calvin DeHaan, Hayden Fleury, Austin Watson, and the Brent Seabrook contract are all key factors in the UFAs. So Steven Stamkos, we'll start out with him. Stamkos, best player in Lightning history. Um, there's probably no doubt about that. Um, has definitely um, been in the news a little bit in regards to his contract. He was reportedly unhappy with the, with the way the talks have been going. The Lightning came out and said, we're not trading Stamkos. We're going to try and keep him here. But they're waiting until after the season to do some negotiations. So I'm going to assume he stays with Tampa. But then again, we've seen crazier things happen. So definitely, I won't rule it out. But there is a good chance that he may not be in Tampa after this year. Now, he's not getting traded. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't know why they would do that. Why in the world they would do that. But um, definitely a, a definite factor is going to be um, how much his contract is going to be in the offseason. That could play a factor. Uh, Tyler Mott there as well. A fourth line forward. Uh, Bear Bolat, kind of the same thing. DeHaan, a third pairing defenseman. Uh, could all get signed to contracts or get moved for other assets. That could be what happens here. They could see, oh... We see Sean Walker out there, and they trade DeHaan and something else for him. Maybe that's what happens. I'm not saying that that's going to happen, but maybe that is what happens. And by the way, I'm using Walker because that's a Flyers example, and I'm a Flyers fan, so don't come at me for that. But anyways, those are things that could happen. You got Hayden Fleury there, too. Solid deft guy, third-pairing defender. And then you got Austin Watson, too, there, another guy that's a deft player. And then the Zebra contract means nothing, virtually. It's only LTIR, so it doesn't really mean a whole lot. Um, it just gives you more out to our space, I guess. But overall, not a whole lot there in terms of UFAs. RFAs, there isn't a lot there either. You got Shafi and Brown. Uh, Shafi, not a big name player, and neither is Logan Brown. So not a whole lot there. Just being brutally honest, there's not a whole lot there with, with the Lightning. So going back to the needs, what are your needs if you're this Lightning team? Well, you probably want depth. That's the biggest thing you want is depth. And I made a video on the Lightning a few weeks ago. And I said just that. I said that the biggest thing they want is depth. And they it looks like it looks like odds are they're probably going to get that. That is what I would aim for from the Lightning. Um, but apart from that, I wouldn't see a whole lot. Maybe a backup goalie. Johansson's been okay, but maybe a backup goalie. But even then, in terms of assets, what do you really have? What do you really have to move? At this trade deadline, you have your 2026 first round pick. I don't think, and, and and yes, a first round pick would get you a lot of traction. But first off, that's two years away. Well, I guess you have your 2027 now too. But that's two years away. And honestly, they don't have a pick this year or next year. So if I'm the Lightning, I would have moved that pick. I would have moved that pick. I keep that pick. Because realistically, by 2026, there's a good chance the Lightning won't be a playoff team anymore. I'm not saying they will. But there's a chance that in two years, Stamkos will be two years older. Kucherov will be, obviously. So we don't know. But obviously, there is a chance that they may not be a playoff team. Now, if you want to buy in and go for a cup and you see the right offer, then yeah, go for it. But I don't think necessarily the Lightning are saying, yeah, we we, we, we need to move that first round pick because we want to win a cup now. I'm not sure they would want to do that, to be brutally honest with you. So... Yeah, anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Another pretty pretty dry team here. Probably won't do much of this year's deadline, um, honestly. But anyways, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, 
Uh, make sure to leave a like. Hit that subscribe button down below. I greatly appreciate it. So a nice little five-minute video here for you guys to watch. But anywho, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.